right, it's out of Uttar Pradesh, which, by the way, Sapam, you can teach me how to say all these things that I'm probably mutilating. Uh, Kathleen John, Muslim barbers in Morabadad, refuse haircuts to Dalits. Um, yeah, so this is this article is just bursting with the issue of the caste system in India, which I'm so glad we have Sapam here to talk about. Uh, but even Muslim hairdressers in this region are refusing to cut the hair of Dalits uh, in their village. So, um, Subham, do you want to talk about well, that? Well, before Subham talks about it, let me give, because a lot of people know what Dalits are, right? And, like, again, most of the people that are watching this show know, but just for the people that don't know, uh, the caste system in India, they're upper class, you know, these are people who are based on their family and their blood are born into different castes and some castes are higher than the other and Dal Dalits is not even a caste they're the out you know they're outcasts right they're uh, the untouchables they're untouchables yeah. basically the most extreme for version of bigotry these are people that are considered the lowest of the low they're untouchable um, and it's basically re bigotry mandated by religion is that fair to say Hinduism yeah. backed bigotry yeah. And this is why India is one of the most bigoted countries in the world, because of the caste system. And the, the strange thing about the story, the reason why Ali is surprised, is because the influence of the Hindu culture has on Muslims themselves, because this is not an Islamic thing, this is a Hindu thing. But Muslims in India have become influenced by Hindus, based on this article, that even Muslims are refusing service to Dalits, yes. like even though this is not an Islamic thing, uh, but they yeah. have been influenced, right? Okay, but you want to so stop him. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. First of all, to answer Ali, the state is pronounced as Uttar Pradesh. Okay. And next, uh, we go to uh, this Muslims thing. Okay. So caste system is mainly a Hindu thing, like you said, I mean, but. Uh, the, in the history of India, like when the Muslims came, the many of the Muslims were converts from Hindus, and they kept their casteist traditions back then. So, as time passed, they uh, well. Um, but can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go on. I have just lost something. Oh, anyways, okay. So uh, they kept their tradition of casteism in uh, with them and. Present day, not just Muslims, even Christians have the caste systems. Uh, Christians I mean, there in are, India, uh, you mean? Yep. yep. Uh, there are many Christians actually. There are like 28 million Christians in India, something like that. Right. But it's okay. all because of their influence from Hindus. Hinduism, yes. Right. The main, I mean, it is mainly Hindu influenced, okay? I mean, there are upper caste Muslims, lower caste Muslims, even in Islam. Although here it is not, just Muslim sorry, Bible. Not, not, no, no, just let's be clear. Not in Islam. You mean in in Muslims in India? Muslims in India. Sorry right. about no, that. If you I say mean, in Islam, yeah. it makes it's nothing in Islam. I, I actually right. wanted to say Indian Islam, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Muslims yeah. in India, India, not in Islam. Muslims in India right. and also Christians in India. Christians. When there are, uh, okay, I mean the uppermost class Brahmins that exist just in Hinduism, or not in other religions. Right. But, I mean, lower caste, they can be lower caste Dalit Muslims, Dalit Hindus, Dalit Christians, and other religions as well. Okay. So, how, so, so how does this work? You go to, you want to get a haircut and you're a Dalit. How can a Muslim yeah. tell that you're a Dalit? Based on your last name? Based on your looks? Based on yep, your... Uh, mostly, mostly based on the last name. Last name. Mostly. So don't give your last name. I mean, actually, I, I, it's, a, it's a village. Everyone knows everyone. So in most villages, like most people know everyone else. Right. J just to let you guys know, like India is actually being ranked to be one of the most racist countries in the world. And this, this does this classify as racism? Yeah, because it's by blood, right? Your caste is by blood. Yeah. Right? So this is racism, yeah. and a okay, lot of this is uh, this is not exactly racism because. Uh, uh, lower caste can be of different races, higher caste uh, can be of different races. Mm -hmm. and so we, I prefer to call this casteism. Of course, there exists racism in India as well, but... Uh, 
I prefer to call this as casteism, not racism. Yes, yes. Bigotry. Uh, bigotry. Is it big, yeah, bigotry? Yeah, bigotry. Right. So India is one of the, because of, is, because I've seen that India is one of the most bigoted countries in the world, and I think it's because of the caste system. Is that, the, is that, would they, yes, is yes. fair, right? Casteism and racism as well. Is, yeah. is, the interesting thing is that a lot of people don't, uh, a lot of people in Western countries think like it's Europe and United States that are the most, uh, bigoted country or racist countries in the world and actually all data shows that the United States, North America and Western Europe except for France it are actually some of their least racist countries in the world not the most uh, relative to other countries n n that doesn't mean there's no racism every time I say that people are like no but racism is a big problem here like yeah I didn't say racism is not a problem here it's just relatively less to other countries. Just because it's relatively less, it doesn't mean it's still not a big problem. God damn it. I mean, it's so simple. I don't know how, why you have to explain. Every time I say like, oh, but cop shootings and this and that. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. But it's relatively less than other countries. The reason why people get the feeling that it's more in North America and, you know, Western European countries is because they're so much more conscious and much more sensitive about racism that they report on it more. In other countries, it's such it's part is so n normal. It's such a part of the norm that it doesn't get, even get the attention for people to be reporting on it. That's why people feel like, oh, this, these countries are not racist. Because other countries don't report on racism because it's just how you live. Where I come from in Iran, half of the jokes started with one day a Turk. And by Turk, they mean stupid people. That's Turk and stupid just went hand in hand, right? Every time somebody spend money, it, 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 like st they, they told you, like, hey, stop being a Jew, right? And they, they hate uh, people in Iran vast majority of the people in Iran, for example, hate Arabs. So j just know people, bigotry is extremely common in most, uh, in, around the world. Uh, by the way, we have a Hindu person, uh, we have Vic Vikrant on Facebook is so offended by our reporting on India. He's losing, he's, <laughs> look, at, look at some of his insults. I think, I don't know if he is an atheist Hindu or an actual Hindu, but he's saying, you mad cunts on India, you even don't know your real father, born with donations. Uh, oh, born with sperm donations. <laughs> so, are these classic? This is a classic insult. Classic Indian insult. Classic the Indian. Thing, like the thing, like uh, this kind of new scientific like sperm donations and all these are insults. The thing, these are insults. <laughs> Why is that an insult? Donations. Like I don't know. Sperm this, donations. This is stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, I, I wanted to clarify something else. Uh, in this particular article, that is, uh, the Muslims are actually discriminating against Dalit Hindus, not Dalit Muslims. No. Oh, okay, so let's just put okay. this in context. So there's two different things happening. One thing is that Muslims are, um, the way, there's two ways, they're, this is a new way they're copying. The first way that the, the Muslims and Christians were copying the Hindus in India was that they're, they were coming up with their own caste system within Muslims, right? So yes. uh, Muslims upper class. Muslims. Actually, actually, it's not the Muslims who came up with caste system in Muslims. It's basically India as a country because that's what uh, I'm saying. Everywhere, every, everywhere, no, I mean, everywhere you go, you have to list your caste as if I want to join a school, you have to say what caste you oh, are. Oh, so the country is actually is. encouraging the casting yes. of different communities. Yes, that's Because you have, to actually pr you have to actually indicate your caste. Jesus. Yes. Okay, so Muslims are coming up, you know, basically creating caste system within their Muslim community. And Christians are creating a caste system within their own Christian community within India, even though this is a Hindu thing. But what this article is pointing out is, in, is something completely different. Is that Muslims... Uh, n considering an a, a lower caste or an outcast from a Hindu background as untouchable, like so. Yes. This is not a Muslim denying a lower class Muslim. Mm. This is a Muslim that is denying service to a lower class Hindu. So they're yes. even recognizing the inferiority of the other people's caste. So not only their own Muslim caste is a lower caste, they're even recognizing that, they, oh, you're a lower caste among Hindus, so I'm not going to serve you. Yes. This is what, like what they say is if, if Dalit Hindus uh, come inside their shops, they will make everything dirty, and then 
people from their own community will not visit them that's the reasoning what say that again uh, if dalit hindus enter their shops like the barber shops if mm-hmm. dalit hindus enter the shops then everything will become dirty just because they are untouchables and, oh. and then what will happen is people from their own community will not want to come to the shops so this is a more of it for this muslim man it might be more of a business decision rather than a bigotry decision right? kind of but it also it is influenced by bigotry yeah it's influenced by bigotry, other people's bigotry but for him it might yeah. not be his bigotry it might be him being influenced by other people's bigotry because he thinks that if i cut this man's hair he's a dalit but my equipment and he's sitting in my chair all these other potential Hindu customers are not going to come sit here knowing that my equipment touched a Dalit, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is so sad. But that could be just an excuse. I mean, oh, okay. We don't know. Know. that could be just an excuse. It could be his own his bigotry, own bigotry. Just using that as an okay. excuse. So it's, I mean, either, but... it's either he's making a business decision or maybe yeah. he's actually a bigot and he's just saying like, hey, I have no choice. I will go out yeah. of business if I serve you. Okay. Yeah, but he... it has also been revealed that other people from the village are also bigot- as bigoted because uh, some other people said that uh, Hindus and Muslims have no uh, fights in that village particularly, but Dalits should stay with Dalits and Muslims should stay with Muslims. This is su- such a uh, white nationalist argument as well, right? White nationalists like with white nationalists, this is what uh, this is what they say. We don't we don't hate black people or Jews. We just think black people should stay with black people. Jews should stay with the Jews. And white people should be with white people. This is uh, that's the best way to live. And you hear now you're hearing the same thing in India. Like we're not saying we hate this lower class people, even though we consider them lower caste. They act, <laughs> like they, we just think they should be there in their own community, and we should be in our community. It's very interesting if they if they say it's not they're not inferior because based on Hinduism itself within the religion. They have the upper class, like they have their god. Which god is this that they have the caste put on? Like they have the br- uh, Brahma. The Brahma. Brahma is the god, right? So, and the the god that they show the caste, like the upper caste is the head, and then the middle caste is like the arm. Yeah, the mouth is the upper caste, Brahmins, oh. and the hands, the arms are the uh, vi- uh, middle caste, Kshatriyas. The thighs are the Vaishyas, and the feet are the Shudras. And the Dalits are not even anywhere not, on this because they were, they were not created by God. Yeah, they are not created by God. They're, they're not they're created from God. Yeah, they're cursed. Yeah. They're just outcasts. They're not even. Shown. Actually, actually, that's the very. I mean, you can use it in an argument. Like recently, in political argument, a uh, Dalit woman said that I did not come from God. I mean, there was this Hindu guy who was actually, uh, who was actually being anti-evolution. Hmm. He was trying to put down Charles Darwin. I mean. Oh. Uh, so that uh, he said that we Indians, our culture says we came from gods. We did not come from monkeys and apes. We came from gods. Oh. He was saying this, and this Dalit woman stood up and said, "I'm a Dalit. I'm an outcast. I did not come from." Wow. Any yeah, okay. Let me let me re- let me re- let me rephrase say again what you just said for people that weren't paying attention. That's such a powerful comeback. So accord- so we have different castes in India, and then we have one caste that is not technically a caste, it's an outcast. So there's a hierarchy of caste, and then the Dalits, which are completely out of the caste system, they're untouchable, right? And all of these castes which are with their hierarchy, what they say is that they come from God, right? But the outcasts, the untouchables, which are the lower of the low, they don't even come from God and they haven't been created from God. So this anti-evolution person, uh, where was this in Congress or? In- no, no, he, the anti-evolution person is from BJP. Okay, where was this thing? Okay, somewhere. But they were making the point that we don't come from monkeys, which is such a stupid way of looking at evolution. We come from God and this Dalit woman's comeback was, no, in Hinduism, you don't even consider, I don't come from God. I'm an outcast. I'm a Dalit. So that was <laughs> that was that's a badass response by that Dalit lady. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I can, I can actually use that response because I come from a Dalit family as well. Really, you come from a yep. Dalit family? Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you have you experienced uh, first well, bigotry for being a Dalit? Uh, casteism is not that prevalent in the state where I live, but okay. little little bits. Not exactly casteism, but. Which yes. which states are is, is the most? West Bengal. I'm from West Bengal. Uh, Uttar Pradesh and 
uh, I guess Tamil Nadu, the, some South Indian states are very casteist. Very casteist. Okay, South Indian states are more casteist. Uh, uh, saying... Uttar Pradesh as well. This one, North India. This is from North India, Uttar okay. Pradesh. North India. It is also okay. it's the most Hindu state, I guess. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. So, by the way, people, India is, uh, it will, you get very different experiences from one state to another. So, people often talk about India as if it's just one thing, and sometimes we do as well, but um, we have, there's a lot more nuance there because states are very different from each other. Uh, there are some general things that are true about all of India, but there's also a lot of differences. Uh, Biju saying, so now Muslim saying not equal until Dalits become Muslim. Um, I don't, okay, so if a Dalit becomes a Muslim, converts to Islam, will Muslims still t hold their Dalit background against them? Um, well, depends on the Muslim, uh, depends on the Muslim community, I right. guess, because you would still have to legally identify as uh, Dalit. Okay, so and that will always Actually, that is not the politically correct term anymore. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called scheduled castes. Scheduled castes. Wait, so when yeah. you file applications and stuff, you actually have to put your caste down. Yeah, Jeez. I mean, I, I was, I, I'm from a Catholic school. I'm from a Catholic school, okay? Mm. And we still had to give our caste mm. there. So just uh, think about it, like, Christian schools want your Hindu caste in their applications. Um, Truth Begets Heresy is saying, Western leftists have absolutely no clue about how the rest of the world uh, judges each other. So naive, so incredibly convinced of their own victim victimology, it causes harm to real victims. Uh, truth against heresy, I suggest not nice saying Western leftists because there are a lot of people on the left that are good. I usually, mm, I mean, some you know we have to say like maybe far um, I don't know regressive left. Some people use because there are a lot of people. I mean, Christie is here. Christie is a, a lefty. And, you know, a lot of people recognize these things and are knowledgeable, but there are good, a lot of good people on the left, a lot of good people on the right. Let's just make sure that we don't um, make a claim about the entire left or about the right because of the crazies that they have. Uh, or the, yeah, not crazy, maybe ignorant. Uh, Bernita is saying, Bernita, yeah, isn't the caste system based on the reincarnation and therefore a blasphemy in Islam? It's not based on reincarnation, it's based on Brahma, right, the God. But, well, it should be a blasphemy in Islam, but these Muslims are not, not a minority in India, so they don't get to call it out as blasphemy, I guess, right? So reincarnation in Hinduism is actually, it gives birth to sexism. I mean, if you do bad well, things in this life, well, you will I get... get that, unless I yeah. get into that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. but, yeah, I mean, t you're right, Bernie, to actually, if these Muslims are being true to their Islam, they shouldn't be... I mean, the fact, being anti-caste, um, being against the caste system was a major selling point for a lot of converts to Islam in India, because these Muslims, you're right, if these Muslims were being true to their... Uh, religion, they should not at all recognize the caste system at all. Um, I mean, is Islam itself have, has its own tribalism, but it doesn't have any racism or bigotry uh, built within it, okay? Again, Islam has a lot of problems, and Muslims have a lot of racism. There's a lot of racism experience in the Muslim world, but within the text of Islam itself, there's not any racism. There is a different kind of tribalism that is encouraged, which Muslims are superior to non-Muslims, which is also bullshit. But once, you, once you're a Muslim, you should be equal to all other Muslims. So it's a very good um, selling point to get Dalits to convert to Islam because they were the lowest of the low. But if they convert to Islam, now they're equal to all their Muslims, brothers and sisters. In, the in theory, because in practice... People still treat you like shit, right? Um, it's, you know, again, like in theory, Muslims are supposed to all be equal, but Arabs treat like Pakistani and brown Muslims like inferior, right? So in practice, it's different. But from in theory, there's nothing that encourages racism in Islam. So, but you're right. This, I mean, you're pointing out that the this what this man, Muslim man is doing in as is un-Islamic, but Muslims do a lot of un-Islamic shit that is not according to Islam. So. It's not, it's not, it's nothing new. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. 
But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.